and welcome back to Glory Goals, episode 17. Unlucening. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. The what? Unlucening, because yeah, Luke's not in it. Luke is here, you can hear him in the background. He's he's off breaking models or whatever Luke's doing. I'm just not playing, so I'm just going to be noisy. So uh, I want to be relevant. We've drafted in the third man. Hello, Mr. Dave. He's here to play. Uh, we're giving change a go. Because. New hexes. You are? New, new hexes. hexes. Yeah, we get to show off Dave's sexy new hexes. Do you want to give us a quick rundown? Uh, of what they what they did, what they are. Yeah, like what you've done to them to get yeah. the finish. Uh, well, it's just um, textured paint, uh, rocks, uh, a bit of GW uh, action going on with the schools and various bits. Are they actual runes? No, they're <sighs> just uh, things that came out of my head as I. Well, that, originally I I drawn. That looks with, like a rune of power. That one does. I drawn it with no runes whatsoever, and then uh, it looked a bit plain in the end. So I thought, here's an objective. I need to make something a bit more ritualistic. So so I assume so Rodri's going to be stuck yeah, in it. So. Well, I just figured I've scattered schools around because it's like, you know, God tears consume more, don't they, apart from uh, the worthy. It's so, good. Uh, that's what I've kind of gone for, really. Sounds good. Sounds good. Can't wait for the board. So, uh, so yeah, the, the board's had a little bit of a setback, but. Uh, what are you talking about, Dave? <coughs> uh, no, I was, that's still raw. Yeah, don't, don't, leave, <laughs> Too a four, don't leave a four and a half year old uh, in the room on his own with, with your board with all the paint sat next to it. <laughs> Because it turns out it will smear textured paint all over it. What um, colour textured paint, Dave? Black. <laughs> 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 so, uh, so that board that was supposed to be appearing next week now may well have about a week or two's delay in it. But it was looking good before he. It was looking amazing. It. it was so, looking amazing. Uh, fingers crossed. It's well worth the wait, guys. Well worth the wait. So, uh, right. So we are doing the second game this evening. We're going for change again because uh, it was what was was requested. Uh, Luke, do you have who requested these teams? Because what we have is I'm going to be using Mon Blade, Sneaky Pete, and Wraith, and Dave will be using Rosane, Rodri, and Titus. Right. Apologies <coughs> for the pronunciation. The first one I can do. John Strong wanted Sneaky Pete, Mon Blade, and Wraith. Here we go. Metody Nikolev. Nice. Wanted Titus, Lorsain and Rodri. So thanks for getting involved guys. Uh, we love when you message us suggestions and team ideas. It's really great to get some community response. Uh, and let's roll. Uh, six. Uh, I'll let you go first though. Okay. So you get the token on your side. And you get to deploy the first unit. Uh, as in the first gang. Yes, yeah, so I'll stick Rodri in the middle. Okay, sounds good. Uh, with his mates. Sounds good. Oh, two and two. Oh, either side, let's flank him. Alright, cool. I'll uh, put down Wraith. Yeah. Love Wraith. Titus. Yep. With the big bases, they don't quite fit. Okay. I'll go with uh, Mr. Pete and his sneaky stabbers. And I'll say he'll come and. Uh, the Misshood Rangers. Yep. Cool. I'll Ooh. go with <laughs> Mornblade sitting in the corner. Mornblade sitting in the corner because he does not like to play well with Lawson. No, I don't think he'll play well with Titus in order to be fair. It's fine, I'd sooner go up against Titus who has to roll damage against him than Lawson that goes take a box. <laughs> so that's uh, that's great, so we're ready for round one. Game on. Game on. So, uh, do you want to take your first plot phase? Uh, yeah. <coughs> uh, so titles will just move. You can only move one, can't you? Uh, you can only move once. Titus. Yeah. Are you on about a flight plan? No, he's just going to move two. Oh yeah, because his followers can move in one. Yeah, but you were doing it with shale to give him uh, an additional shale, yeah. movement. So, so uh, yeah, a couple of those followers will move in one. Yep. And then they'll move. Uh, so they've moved him. Can they move him? They can move him in the theme mode base, can't in they? The plot oh no, yeah, Roar of Battle, yeah. And then he will. No, you can only move again, so he'll just move again because he's got nothing until he's in range of other people. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, Rodri. Yeah, he'll march. 
For one? Yep. Yeah, and then move two. Move an additional one, you mean? Uh, yeah, move to one and then move yeah. to an additional cool. one, yeah. Sad. So it's effectively a double move, isn't it, really? Yep. And then his guards. Uh, they'll march as well. Uh, that's Titus, I'm turning him over. Let's see. Lord Sane will uh, strengthen and then move three. And the uh, archers will blur and move three. Cool. That's them done. All right. Um, I'll go with uh, Mr. Pete. He'll go one, two, three, four. Chuck his banner down for a cheeky point. Um, and we'll go with the Nightshades, who will do Careful Master to give Mornblade plus one dodge, and they will do uh, Where's Master to give him a two move. <coughs> Mornblade will go, throw his banner down for plus one, uh, and he will do forward minions to move them two hexes. Uh, Wraith will go after the splooshlings, so the splooshlings will go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Insert obligatory splooshlings jokes, because I think we haven't done one of those in these two episodes. <laughs> Uh, Wraith will go, he'll jump to where the Splooshling is, uh, and he'll gain himself plus one armour. Oh, it's at range four, isn't it? It is range four jump. Um, and he will then do... Um, nothing. It's not... Oh, he can walk, so he'll... Come to me! <laughs> <laughs> That's a new one. Okay, and then I've got the uh, sneaky stabbers, uh, and they will go four. One, two, three, four. And then one sneaky stabber will sprint to go three. Uh, one, two, three. And that's the end of the plot phase. Cool, so here we are for the, uh, the second part of two and one. Yeah. With Dave going first. Yeah, so I'm going to go with Lord Sane. This is right now, I should have used two. In case you can hear it in the background, Luke's doing a <laughs> bit of uh, ad hoc editing. You wouldn't have heard that, surely? <laughs> As you'll move to... Yep. And then attempt to uh, snipe... Um, Wraith. 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 Alright, cool. So eight dice. Dodge of two. Sorry, three, so you still hit. Yeah, he didn't go took the extra armor, didn't he? Uh, no, that was he's got, yeah. So he's got armor four for this hit. Yeah. So she's normally four, but she's strengthened for five dice. Yeah. Nothing. But it burns the armor. Yes. That helps. You okay? Cool. All right. Um, we'll go with the whirlpools. We will recruit, and then we will move. So we will go to there. We will go to there, and we will go to there. Yep. Yep. Rodri, move one and try and black that guy on the head. Yeah, I realise I should have done that the other way around. One, two, three, four, five, three, four, slash, dodge your five. Dodge your five. So unlikely. You say unlikely. <laughs> And then I roll a Luke. <laughs> you do, you do so a Luke. that's eight. Yeah, so that's three. Yep. So then he rolls seven. Oh, this is easy, Dad. Yeah, Dad. Yeah. Look at all well, that. Truly. <laughs> wow. Overkill. What did he want, Bob? Only a little guy. A goblin. Oh. Oh. Um, he doesn't get. He doesn't get anything extra for that, does he? Just uh, guardian champions. Oh, yep. Capturing the flag. Cool. Uh, so that's him done. Sorted. Uh, we'll go with Wraith. Wraith will jump to there and gain concentrate. Mm -hmm. And he will try and headbutt Law Sane. So he has six dice accuracy. Yep. Which is five. 
Yes. Just. <laughs> literally, literally just. just. Um, armor one. Armor one. Damage. Wow. Damage. All of that managing to get past her dodge. So that's uh, those two done. Uh, it's a household guard. Ooh. March. Okay, march one anyway, can't you? Well, they move two and they yeah. can march for an extra one. Yeah. Okay, so then they'll go there. Move and march. Cool. Stand a little line. Sounds, Sounds good. good. Sounds good. Um, okay. Hmm. Not quite sure what I want to do, to be honest. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Let's try this. Let's try this because I think this will be funny. Um, Sneaky Pete is going to try and annoy that group of dwarves. Okay? Yeah. So that's uh, range three, so you're in. Yeah. Uh, accuracy five. And they are uh, dodge of two. Two, I believe. Yeah. So that's successful. So I can drag you two hexes closer, but obviously they can only go one, can only go one because your uh, your whirlpool's, the in, whirlpool's the way. in the way. Yeah. Um, and then you're out of range for everything else, so that's him done. Okay. These guys will concentrate. Okay. Uh, which is like plus one dice accurate aim, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. And then they'll fire at um, Wraith. So they are normally accuracy five. So again, ooh, that's a boon dice. Extra one, so six, needing uh, three. Three, three. Or four. Four. Uh, three. Dice. Three. Yeah, success. So through. And then they are five dice for damage. No. Nope, doesn't go through his armour. Okay. You're That's good. fine. Yeah. Right. So, I think I'm using these correctly. Right. The Sneaky Stabbers are going to use Press the Button. Right. If Sneaky Pete's banner is within range, choose one model adjacent to the bearer to gain one wound. Yeah, so anyone who stood next to it, they're within two of the banner. <laughs> so, anyone who's, it's basically a bomb. The banner's a bomb. Yeah, so I'm going to push the button to deal one box of damage to that dwarf. To, is it to the bearer? Not the, is it the standard? Choose one model adjacent to the banner to gain oh, one the banner. Yeah, yeah. So I'll just go boom. I use Sneaky Pete to drag him in. And then blue. And then blue. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Um, and then what we will do is we will spend the next one to irritate. So we'll go for accuracy five and I'll irritate the one remaining bloke. Oh, actually, one, I'll irritate the unit to be fair, mm -hmm. uh, which is distract. So I hit and you get distracted. Yeah. So that's, yeah, that's minus, minus one. one. I've got. Yeah, I haven't got the uh, accuracy. I can use a magic thing. I've just drew it. <laughs> so that's uh, that's then done. hit. do a great deal so uh, they'll just move two yep okay. uh, I've just got Mourn Blade and the Knight's Shields Knight Shades left so what they will do is intense sorrow to concentrate and move one over to you More blade will just move two. Not more blade, Titus. Titus, yep. Because yeah, he can't do great deals. Okay, cool. 
Um, Morn Blade will move forward one, and he will do uh, Phantasm to uh, onto uh, Titus, which is range three and four damage, uh, four accuracy. Sorry. Yep. So, so uh, dodge of two. Success. Yep. Armor hit. four. Pardon? Armor four. Armor four. Uh, this is damage five. So two damage. Two damage. How much damage he's got? Six. And the nightshades can move forward one hex. As part of it is a hit. Oh, uh, that's a hit effect. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so that's everyone on my side done. Who have you got left? Oh, you know, you're going first. Didn't you? Yeah, cool. First. Uh, so that's the end of two and one. Um, I've got two banners down. Yep. So I gain one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cool. So and I win turn one. Yep. Uh, so it goes over to you to roll four, four dice, dice to and move that many hexes of objectives. Oh my god! Five. Big roll. So you can move. You choose whatever order you want to move them around. But I can't. Can I move the same one twice? No. I feel like I might move this one because he moves with it. Uh, does it say? Then they have to decide it gets moved with it. Yeah. Oh, cool, yeah. Banners, banners don't clear at the end anymore, do they? Yes, they do. Oh, they do? You cash them in. Oh, okay, yeah. They just don't clear if the character dies. Right, yeah. Let's drag this one as well. Okay. So that's three, four, and Cool. Alright then, let's pause it there and uh, yep. go to round two. <coughs> Here we are for start off round two. Yep, uh, I didn't say it, but I'm going to go first. Cool. Uh, what am I going to do with it? That's the thing. <laughs> uh, well, she spent that, so Lord Sane's going to strengthen again. Uh, again and then drop her banner. Okay. Uh, um, so you get one point for that? Oh, yes, good point. Um, the rangers are going to move one and attempt to fairy fire. Uh, what's his name? So five dice. Right, right. I should know this by now. It's, it's success either way. Yeah, success, well. yeah. So he's sundered. So he's minus one minus armor. Minus one armor. One of those. We're all good. Uh, so that's then done. Rodri. Uh, is going to move one and then uh, actually, yeah. no, he's not. He's going to uh, at my side to do an immediate recruit action, okay, and he's going to uh, drop his ban up, okay. Sneaky Pete has got a move of four. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But you're going to go and stand next to him. That works for me. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Um, the guard. Oh. <laughs> what was that? Take a room or play room. And move there. And there. Okay. And then. Uh, reinforce to gain armor. Okay. The uh, so that's them done. You can he, can he drop a banner on where he is? He yeah, you can drop it on the next. Can he kind of stand on no? Can he stand on no? Can he drop it on the one he's on an adjacent hex. Okay, so he's gonna oh, fuck. he's gonna move there. Pardon. On my French, <laughs> and uh, drop his banner there. Okay. Oh, French Dave. So that's him. <laughs> French Dave. French Dave. <laughs> that is that is a, a, a story that that far too elaborate to uh, to explain right now. This yeah. family crest has a swan on it. That is French. Max thinks it's a heron. <laughs> She's eating surrender monkey. <laughs> Sacre bleu Dave! <laughs> 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 
Oh là là, Mr. Mustin. <rire> Uh, they're going to use War of Battle okay. to move him one. Okay. And then they're going to move two. Uh, so there's two in this box. So I'll go to there. Uh, you're going to join him. Okay. And then those two will move two to there. Alright, man, that's it. They're done. Okay. All the banners. Sounds good. Sounds good. Okay. All right then. So what we're going to do is the nightshades are going to go, and they will do. Where's Master? To move him two hexes. Mm -hmm. Um, and then they will all move one hex. Okay. Yep. Then I'll go with Morn Blade. Oh, that's not glass. I need to do too many actions. Um, yeah, that's, that, that's how that works. Okay, cool. What we will do is Morn Blade will then move two to trample. Mm -hmm. So you get that back. Uh, and he will drop his own banner for one. So that's that. Uh, Mr. Sneaky Pete. He will He will drop his banner there for a point. And he will run four. We'll go one, two, three, four. Can you crush and then keep moving? Yeah, it's yeah. only when you move over a hex. Uh, that's fine. That Law Sainz was the problem. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do a great deal about Law Sainz. So that is Sneaky Pete done. The uh, Sneaky Stabbers. They can run four. Which isn't great. So you know what, they will... What's Titus's dodge? Two. So they will run to there. And they will do a let me do it. Which is accuracy five. Yep. Which hits. Yep. Uh, and damage five. And a four. Nothing, <laughs> nothing. Just off, just off. Oh well. And then Wraith, who's on minus one armour at the moment. <laughs> um, on two banners at the minute. Hmm. So do I really need Wraith? You know what? Wraith will jump to there. And put his banner down. Uh, two for him being a shaper. Yeah. Uh, and he will gain plus one of aid. Over to you. So you've dropped, you dropped two banners? I've dropped three banners. Oh yeah, you had to drop it again, didn't you? Yeah. So you shouldn't be two, you shouldn't be three ahead, should you? Right, so, um, basically... I think I just didn't put my scores on for my banners. Okay, you? so you started there. Yeah. You got Lorsane. Yeah. You got Titus. Yeah. And you got Rodri. Yeah. So that was three. Um, I got one for Mornblade. Yeah. 
One for Sneaky Pete. One for Sneaky for Pete and yeah. two for yeah. Ray. It's just because I didn't, I didn't put my uh, scores on. Yeah, no, that's, that's, that's what I was working out. I was thinking, hang on a minute. We both dropped all of our banners, but yeah. yet you seem to be too ahead of me. Shaper. Yeah, which is why you get you, make, you yeah. pulled it over the line. But yeah, it was my fault, not marking the... Yeah, that makes sense. <clears throat> Hello, Luke. Where did you come from? The other room. <laughs> <laughs> Luke has uh, been editing yeah, yeah, the, uh, the previous video. With mm -hmm. the one that you've probably seen a few days ago while we were at Vengeance. Oh. Back to winning ways. There you go. You... You put on turn two. This is the start of turn two. Yeah. So my go? Yep, yeah, over to you for your clash phase. Uh, I'm going to go with Rodri. What's his dodge? Five. Yeah, so Roger's going to go, move one, yep. and then try a shield bash on him. Okay. Uh, which is seven dice. To push me. Okay. Yeah, and hit you with a, uh, a weaken at the same time. Very nice. Hit a bit his weaken and then move the target two hexes away from Roger. Roger's so good. Uh, Dodge five. Dodge five. Yep. Hits it. Yep. So you gain weaken. Which is minus one armor. Minus one armor, and then move two hexes. No, weaken is minus one strength. Yeah. Yes, yeah, Sunder's minus one. Oh, Sunder yeah, yeah, is Sunder is minus one, are we? And then I shall move you uh, to there. Okay. I know, in the plot for in the clash phase, he's not amazing. From That's what we've done. Okay. That's fine. Uh, Sneaky Pete will do annoy. On to Roderick. To pull you two hexes. <coughs> Success. I'm <laughs> over here. But at least you're weakened now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm on minus yeah. one. Um, and now I can backstab, which is uh, which is accuracy five. You get plus one for each stab, which is not two. fair. Oh god! He oh, missed. I missed. <laughs> <laughs> you. Enough said. I don't need to comment about how my dice work. Over to you. <laughs> Do you want to know the worst part? His weaken doesn't come off because I didn't hit. No. <laughs> <laughs> so it's still there. That remains. So uh, that is sneaky done. <laughs> um. No, you can concentrate. Boy, I dragged him in. Oh, oh, yeah, and then you missed his best stuff, missed, yeah. yeah. Uh, the household guard are going to have a speculative jab. No, they're not. Um, I'm going to go I was going to say, where are they going to move to? <laughs> uh, they're going to move to there and hit that. Okay. But uh, they're not going to do that. Titus is going to go, because he stood next to a large amount of followers. So yeah. he's going to try a, uh, a sweeping slash. Yep. Which is, uh, the skill may target two models, but they cannot be in the same hex. So I'll hit that Mournblade guy first. Yep. So that's six dice. Yep. Yeah. Dodge two. Dodge two. Gets it. I needed that for the damage though. Damage five dice. What's his armor? Four. Five dice. Is a five. It's against Richard with five. No. 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 <laughs> I rolled all the good stuff out on the first so one. Six dice against him. Six dice against him. What's their dodge? Five. Five. Yeah, yeah. they're very dodgy. No, they're five. Not dodgy enough. No, well, you roll all that. <laughs> five hits. But they're only armor two, I think. Armor two. Yep. Dead. Three. Just. <laughs> That's two VP. That's two VP for you. Yep. Yep. Uh, he'll then, unfortunately, he can't do. It was like that was the one that I'll run. Yeah, kill that one, one and then do because it. Because then he'll do the other one, which is hit up two models in the same hex. But he, uh, yeah, we'll go for sneakies again. Okay. Uh, this is five dice. Ooh, actually, oh, actually, I mean, and I'll hit the Mornblade guy actually. Yeah, since for his movement, that makes sense. Uh, hits, dodge two. Yeah. 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 So hits just. Six dice on the damage. Five. One, two, uh, three, four. four. Okay. Okay. Great. Yep. Uh, is that you done That's for that? That's done. Yeah. Okay.
Okay. What we'll do is we'll go and see the sneaky stabber. He's going to press the button again. Because <laughs> you're standing next yeah. to the... So, take a wound. So I get a point for killing a dwarf. I love that. It, <laughs> there is no power creep. Um, and then what we will do I feel is... Like it's easy to mitigate by just not standing next to his banner. Very true. Stand on it or stand, don't stand near it. I just left them there. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and we will then... Um, we will irritate these guys. So there's one of me in the uh, in the hex. Yeah. We'll yeah we'll irritate the honor seekers. They dodge two. Uh, yes. That hits on a five. So they are on distract. So they're minus one concentration. Yeah. So they're minus one to hit. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the honor guard and. Oh no! Did the honor guard get rid of theirs? Uh, no. They still got it. Cool. Uh, over to you, mate. Yeah. Uh, these guys will shoot at Sneaky Pete. Okay. They are... Oh, sorry, they'll aim to get their extra concentration, then they'll fire at them. So six dice, three and five. Yep. Gets it. Even without that. Yep. Uh, then they are damage five. Okay. Three. One damage. Cool. And that's them done. Ah, that's quite cool. So you've done one damage to him now. Yeah. Just I don't need any advice, mate. No, no, it's not advice. <laughs> no, 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 it's not advice. Oh, 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 meow. <laughs> okay, but I'm just reminding you that the missile ranges get plus one concentrate. Um, plus oh, no, one yeah. yeah ideally, start. I would have just fired them next, but unfortunately, uh, they need to put some damage on. Okay. <laughs> so, um, Wraith is going to headbutt Rodri. Nice. Dwarf on. Dragon kin action. Yep. What damage Dodge is it? Two. It's only damage five, but I, on a hit action, I push him away. I hit you this time. Uh, so before I forget, you can get pushed away one hex. Yep. Um, and then I do five damage. I'm a five. Nothing. It's fine. It's no cool. It's no big deal. It's all right. We're all right. Um, Wraith will then do lunging strike, so I get to move one hex. This is the big test for these ones. Yeah, it's a flat bottom base. This is bottom. Oh, flat bottom base, yeah. 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 I've kind of built it around the idea that everyone's got a hollow base. Mm. So it's three points of contact. What was that song scene. about flat bottom girls? Fat bottom girls. Oh. <laughs> flat. <laughs> That's not the flat opposite. bottom base, yeah. <laughs> flat bottom girls by Queen. What are you yes. aiming yeah. for? The, uh, oh, the, the dwarf. So they're currently um, armour five. Armour five? Yeah, because they've got strength, uh, they reinforce themselves. The good. It boosts yeah. the armor at least, yeah, exactly. so we're all good. So that's Wraith done. Uh, I'll go with Lorsane. Okay. She's going to try and snipe. Um, You've shot Wraith, haven't you? So he loses his minus one armor. I didn't shoot Wraith. No. Shot Sneaky Pete. Oh, you did. Okay, cool. So he's still got his minus one armor and he's plus one of eight. Sneaky Pete's taking that licking. He's done uh, one damage. That's enough to get a snipe. So snipe, eight dice. Snipe with five. Yeah, loves it. A snipe. <laughs> it is. Oh, it does. And got four damage. Or uh, four damage, but she's strengthened for five dice. And then she can let do it. I've got to do two damage on him. What's his armor? Two. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've just killed him. <laughs> <laughs> I've just killed him without legendary. <laughs> nice. What well, are you pushing him? Um. So you gain five. one, two, three, four, five. Problem is, there's like banners all over the place, so I don't think I'm going to be able to save the turn. Uh, I'm going to swing him that two that way. So he loses his uh, weaken. Yeah. And he loses that. See, the wind blows nobody any good. But that's probably the best time to kill him because he does all of his stuff in a plot phase. She and he can, can only do fifty percent. Can she still of the shoot and scoot? Yeah. yeah, she shoots and scoots. Okay, that. so I'll shoot and scoot one, and then shoot. Um, Wraith. With the Mystic. With the Mystic. No, it's 22. I'll have to no. do it with a piercing shot, just put one damage on him, hopefully. Okay. So five dice. I'm on dodge four. No, no, just misses. But you know, unfortunate. Free hit. Win some, you lose some. Yep. Can't sell that after you one round and sneak you. 
Very true. I didn't, well, it took, it took two activations to get him, to be fair. Lorce and her crew. Uh, that's her done. <laughs> Alright. So uh, humble, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. Okay. Um, we will go with uh, Mornblade. Uh, he will do Soul Blade onto these guys, uh, which is Accuracy 5, Dodger of 2. Yep. So I hit. Um, as a hit action, uh, they can make a recruit action, but that's fine because they're, they're already full. Uh, I'm on damage 6. I'm on 4, I think. Four. Five damage yeah, to kill one. one dies. So I'll drag that. Out. I hate that model. <laughs> What's wrong with Bolt? The model, the pose. Yeah, He's flying. The pose of them. Have you you not got the limited edition one? I didn't like no. that one either, unfortunately. I don't like the dabbing. It's not dabbing, it's, it's the Usain, Usain Bolt. Bolt pose. Yeah, That's what it's called, Bolt. <laughs> it's near enough. And he's fast. Okay, um, I'm going to Phantasm um, Titus. Titus. Accuracy 4. Just. Because he's dodged two. Yeah, dodged two. Yeah, cool. I was just checking. Um, hit effect, move each nightshade up to one hex. Come to me. <laughs> Damage armor four. Armor four. So it takes one box. <laughs> I'm slowly plinking him away. Just put it there, really. He's got three left. Awesome. Over to you, mate. Uh, these guys will go and stand next to this banner and blop him on the head. Okay. The knee. Well, the knee, yeah. <laughs> With the point, they're not going to blop him on the head. Unless so he six dice, minus one for the uh, blind. You've already shot Wraith, haven't you? No. No. It's, oh, uh, no, I did sneaky peek. No, but you shot Wraith after. No, but he missed. Yeah, so I've still... Oh, you've, you've, you've lost the dodge, dodge, but not the armour, yeah. Yeah, but not the armour. So you've dodged I mean. your three. Yeah. So I'm under dodge of three, you hit. Yeah. So then damage is six as well, six, so I'll go up in one then. Because I have minus one for the uh, You're watching one round right as well now. Oh, oh god, he's oh, got it! <laughs> what armor? Honestly, armor what? Armor three. Armor three. Set, yeah. Seven. Look at that. No, uh, six. Six. <laughs> he's got one box left. I've got no one else to hit him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor you. Yeah, you're so hard done to. That looks like that's a Lost Sound legendary in the box. Yeah, because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he can't do it. Yeah, because then push him to and he can't push him to and then he can't plant. Yeah, yeah. To be fair, you're about to win two consecutive rounds. True. But the third one's where it matters. You know, ideally, you'd want to do it sooner because that way you haven't got to try and worry about mm. turn four. Because yeah. turn four is when everyone starts dying. Mm. Yeah. And to be fair, I haven't put any. I can't believe the house of gold in one on. round and right. This is what I mean. It's. Well, come on. That was a good roll. Look at the fair. massive. That was a good that roll. That was an amazing roll on yeah. six dice. What was it? Two, four, six. It was probably. three sixes. It was nine on six dice. Which is horrendous. So, yeah, it's not going to happen very often. That's a spiky roll to be there. To be fair, it's probably not often you think. Play me more often. It happens <laughs> all the time. The house on guards are done. Um, so I've just got the splooshlings, uh, terrible name, and the nightshades. The nightshades already have concentration, so what they'll do is fill my pain onto Titus. Mm -hmm. uh, so there yeah, is three of them in the box. Uh, just the honor seekers. So I want. Yeah, we've got our Titus. So I hit, uh, one of them comes off, and Titus takes a box. Titus takes a box. Titus, yeah. ta Titus, takes, a wound. Titus takes a wound. He's not being very healthy, to be fair. Mm, that's two left. Um, so that comes off, um, and what they will do is concentrate again. That's over to you, mate. So the. <sighs> What is? Um, so the honor seekers will move. They won't. They're standing next they to them. Move, they? Can't quite do it. Need one more movement. He's in the wrong place. What are you trying to do? Surround pound with six dice. <laughs> Can't he do a recruit action? 
and then use the three to hurt them? Uh, no, because I, I want I want to move these. What? Who are you trying to surround? Uh, Morn Blade. Well, if you did a recruit action to there, you'd still get the two against him and the. Yeah, but I could also just move those of the two. Yeah. Yeah, you so, could just move yeah. them two, move one into that hex. Move those two. The, yeah. I can't move into that hex, but I'll basically... No, I'll you get... can move one of them in, they three in the hex. They can't move three. Oh, can they not? They can move two. That's the problem. He was in the wrong place. Well, to be fair, if they moved there, they couldn't move again because of... Uh, what's his name locking them down? So they get um, four plus one for having somebody in an adjacent hex. Yep. So five... Versus... Four, because I've got one dodge up at the moment. Ooh, Ooh. No. If it wasn't for that, you'd have got me. In the burn. Yeah. Uh, so that's then done. Okay. Cool. Um, I'll go with the splooshlings. They will recruit and then do a move. So I just need to think where I want to go. So they will recruit to there. And he will move to there. And he will move to there. And he will move to there. Okay, that's the splooshlings done. So end of the round. Uh, yep. Lorsains and those cancel each other. Those cancel each other out, and then I gain eight. eight. So you win. Seven, eight, nine, because he's a guardian. Oh, okay, yeah, for yeah. capture. You get plus one extra yeah, yeah. for capture. So they all come off. Um, I win this round. You get to roll dice for the number of hexes that we can move. And you can remove four, four hexes. So an interesting thing about this is you can move them while people are on it. Yeah. Oh, that goes though, doesn't it? Yeah, all yeah. The hexes all come off. Sorry, bounce come off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hmm. not to. <laughs> Makes sense. Dick, you can just essentially, you're going, for, you, I assume you're going to go first. Two, yeah. Uh, three, so one more. Four. Okay, yep. Cool, all right, I'll so, go first. Th yep, let's pause it there. So here we are for the start of round three. Yeah. Uh, so I'll do the um, honor seekers first. They're going to recruit. Okay. That's bold. None back. And then they can move. Has to be to next. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. It's, it, either one. Yeah. Yeah. Go. I thought you were going here. And I'm then like, their special ability then, when uh, they recruit, they can move to if they want to. Yeah, uh, not going to bother. Because they're now going to try and outflank. More and How many can move then? All, All of them, them can surround them uh, as a hit effect. In two or three? Three? Yeah. yeah. Easy. One. Oh, that's not a very desirable place to come out. <laughs> 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 Yeah, so that's and that's well played because that's got them away from the things. That's the really. Oh, I should have rolled one less dice. To be fair, you take if you, even if you took away your top successes. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's still a success, yeah. Yeah, makes sense. He'll try, uh, I'll kill you all on the uh, Mornblade guys. Okay. Four with these, what means it? It means two. How much, how much dodge have they got? Four. He's moving back. Yeah, I'll do it on the Mornblades. Okay. Yep. Oh god. Turn it on the whirlpools. The thing is I'm rolling really well when I don't need to. 
Oh, well, don't rub it in. Yeah, but the problem is I don't roll well when I actually need the results. What? Uh, so you sorry. can move them. Did to I miss X's. turn two? Yeah, I think you missed it where he <laughs> one hit Sneaky Pete. Where Rodri won round Sneaky Pete. I'll move those two there. Yeah, because you know, followers he, just doesn't, he just right. doesn't roll well and at all, does he? And then he will try and throw out a challenge. Oh, he just, he just automatically does it. He'll throw out a challenge to uh, Mournblade. <laughs> so you give him two blights. So I give him two blights and you can pick a blight on me. Okay. So I'll give him minus one move. <laughs> okay. And minus one. Uh, Probably armor. <laughs> yeah, minus one armor. Okay. You can have minus one armor on the minus one armor on the back. <laughs> I remember I gave you my dice for those people. You wouldn't want to keep them anyway. So. <laughs> and because they're not set up the same as he's got, he's corrected his, and I haven't corrected mine. Oh. So there's those two done. Because uh, they wouldn't mind your rolling of your number dice. <laughs> Betty Crock with a secret recipe. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie Oliver there. Uh, the household guard. <laughs> uh, we'll move one and reinforce. Plus one armour. Uh, Rodri will drop his banner and reinforce. Score. Oh yeah. Well remembered. So that's Rodri done. They can't do anything really. They've already got blur, they haven't been hit. No point sundering. Uh, Law Sane will um, fire off a legendary to kill Wraith. Yep, I'm not surprised. Four or five. And then you're moving two hexes. Moving two hexes. Uh, so I'll move him there. Okay. The thing is, he's got one. If he hadn't had a whirlpool, that'd be perfect because I could push him away from everybody. But um, they'd be able to move him back around anyway because he's got his. You can then, you've got the option of shooting and scooting. I just. Does it count? Yes, because you're adding wound cubes. Oh, okay. Um, oh yeah, a, a skill that inflicts more than one wound. Um, so she will shoot and scoot to there. Okay. And then her next action is to drop a banner. Uh, oh, her legendary ultimate's gone. Legendary, what are talking about? Then these guys will move to there. And uh, can't do anything, so they'll just stay where they are. Okay. Uh, that's it. Did you, did you score for Law Sane Platinum the banner? No. You're right. You don't want the points, though, <laughs> if I mean. I've still got. I'm, so you've I'm just got one, one two, anyway. two points and a kill. Yeah, two so points and a kill. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, one, two. Yeah, yeah. there we go. Cool. All right. Good job, Dave. Mm. Good job. Two turns in the making to be made. Good. Job. Could, so ideally, I wanted to. I suppose it didn't matter. Um, I just haven't been really crushing banners as much as I can. I to be fair with Rodri, he's still very slow, so it's kind of hard for him mm. to. Mm. You could easily place a place it somewhere where he can't get to, unless you've got someone like Shale can move him, can't he? Who uh, friendly is Shale? Sh no, Shale can in put a boon on him so she can put a Just speed move, to give yeah. him three speed in the clash phase. So it's, it's a real sneak up. Mm. Oh yeah, he moves two. I didn't, I didn't realise he moved two in there. Oh yeah, he's fast in the clash phase. I moved him one thinking I could only move him he's one. He's all rapido. Yeah. Yeah, he sure is. Alright. Okay. This is going to take some planning. I'm not going to get many banners down this turn. <laughs> Alright, um, I'm just trying to work the order out. I'm kind of assuming you're going to get one banner down this turn. I will you get can one get one. one. Yeah. I'll get one down. You'll have to, yeah, you'll have to utilise Where's Master to move um, Mornblade away from the thing. We can move himself. No, because got, you've got minus one movement. Oh no, he's got, he starts with a move of two, doesn't he? Yeah. yeah. 
So yeah, so we could move one, put a banner down. Okay. Yeah, it's a really good play though with them. If only there were six of them. <laughs> <laughs> You're never happy. <laughs> I think that's the reason why this fight. Yeah, I tell you, yeah. You can't completely surround somebody and lock them in, basically. You, there's always yeah, a come with Titus. Yeah, <laughs> well, yeah, Titus is there as well. I suppose that's generally, in theory, that's what you're supposed to do. Yeah. Because then Titus comes in and, uh, as he gets. Plus one for every person around. No, that's what. I oh, know, that's them, that's isn't them, it? Yeah, yeah, that's them. In, yeah, so in theory, they're rolling like uh, eight dice and seven damage dice. Okay. So, yeah. So the Splooshlings are going to recruit and move. Okay. I need to free that hex up. That's the only reason why they went first. Oh, you're going to plant on that one with Worth Master to move him to? Yeah, I'm going to plant, use him. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's move that there instead. Because basically, I'm going to plant yeah. and use him to move these. Mm. Okay. And then use them to move him. Up his up his dodge. Um, evade. You, you can't. He can't move to there because he's only got minus one move, so he can't move. But he needs them to move him. The she, two. He, they. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. They make him move the two hexes. Oh right, yeah. So okay. he moves them and they move him. Is it a move action or is it a place? No, it moves him two hexes. May move up to two hexes. May move. It's not using hexes, a move yeah. action. Okay. It's yeah. I, I see what you. I yeah. See, yeah. Just checking to make sure. You, in theory, you can still do it. You can move one. And then he wants to plant there to, yeah. to stop you getting it because you've only got a move of two in this. Unless you're legendary. Well, even then, it was made different. Yeah, if you do your legendary, you do a skill, you move one, do another skill, and then oh, you do I'll a move, move action. Okay, yeah. yeah. I didn't realise you moved the, the one hex. Yeah, so you do it, you could, in, in theory, you could do it, yeah. Yeah. Okay. What's the range on Wears Master? Four. Oh, that was pretty good then, actually. Range of Wears Master doesn't have a range. Oh, doesn't it? No, it's just a flat out moving. So can't he just place his banner there anyway? Yeah. Out. Yeah. So basically, he yeah. So oh, yeah, could he's just got a range there, place. Yeah. He's got a range. So place. he will throw. So is it, what range is it? Three. Three. Oh, so totally he will throw that. his banner out. Yeah. Um, and he will do forward minions to go one two. Okay. They will go Wears Master to go one two. Okay. Um. And they will then recruit. Yeah, so his legendary won't be affected by that thing because it just says move in one hex. It's in, that's that their thing stops advance actions, doesn't it? Um, yeah, yeah enemy models adjacent have an advance that, that yeah that advance have a speed of zero. Yeah. Yeah, so that's to really clarify clarify yeah. that bit. Yeah, the movement thing. But you know. Oh no, definitely it's. It is strong. It's got him away. Oh god, yeah. Oh god, he gets plus one dodge and plus one armor against small top small targets. Yeah, I've been hitting you with just take damage. Mm. But so you're plus one dodge, yeah. But, yeah. yeah. but the dodge might have made a difference. Potentially, yes. I, I see what you mean. So, um, we'll go with Wraith. Wraith will stand up because that's all he can do, yep. and he'll take a step to there. Okay. Um, and uh, well, that's him done. The night shades have been the sneaky stabbers. Hmm. It's not great, really. I expect you to. I thought they were amazing. They are amazing. <laughs> no, they are amazing, but one of them doesn't have a lot of damage. No, it's my mess. It's, it's yeah. my mess up to have just have one left. Yeah. Um, I should have been. A long way from home. <laughs> yeah, but they can do their sneak and respawn. Oh, to go back there, but you want them over here, don't you? Yeah. It's all right for now. It's okay for now. Mm. 
to be fair, I'm thinking of just doing their small and sneaky to walk through um, Titus's hex. Yeah, they can just walk through. I, I keep forgetting about that skill. Mm. But to what end? To be fair, if I walk to there, it will stop Titus coming and having a slap of him. Um, if if you've done his skill, he does. He's yeah. literally he does the skill, so you could do one to hit him and potentially. Yeah. No. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, really the, but to be fair, right, so I'll walk to there. Yeah. Um, I don't get his skill because he can use two skills, but then. But you, you get to do a move. And the other well. one's a move. Yeah. He does a skill, a move, then a skill, and then you move again. So you what, move again, yeah, but you can't do another skill. So, so you get to use both your skills. But yeah, so you, you can't do the same. Bear in mind, you can do it in both phases. So you can, you could challenge, kill your wall. So Titus has then plant yeah, yeah, yeah. Titus has minus one armor, yeah. Yep. So I hit. Yep. Yeah. And then I'm on damage four. So it's you're a small target, so it is. Uh, so armor four. Armor four, regardless, and then that goes. Oh, dodge is three, but you think you hit. Three. Yeah, you yeah. hit easily. So that's it. No, no, nothing. Oh, right. So because he gets plus one armor against small targets, which I forgot. Okay, okay cool. Alright, that's the waste then. Well, I got rid of that Sunder for me. So. <laughs> It's fine. It's all good. Not to be fair, he's got in the way to protect. <laughs> he's got in the way to protect Mornblade, so that's literally all I needed him for. So all I've got left is uh, Sneaky Pete mm. and Wraith. We're both Wraith's been Wraith stood up and moved there. Oh. Well. Uh, Sneaky Pete isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So Sneaky Pete has to waste his first action to stand up. Because that's just what he's got to do. See, that's the uh, thing of killing him. So he's in the plot phase, and then that, that this could essentially nullify him for the turn. But he's got a good move, though, hasn't he? He's got four moves. So he'll stand up. And he'll be able to move four. By you placing those elves there, that was strong. Yeah, but I can just go and crush Rodgers. Okay, if you want. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah I didn't I didn't see Rodgers there. To be honest. Mm. This is what I mean. So I can literally just go and smash Rodri's um, and be done with it. Mm. Um. But then, do you really want to be stood next to Rodri? <laughs> it's one of them things. Yeah. It's one of them things. Um, well, I suppose it's, it's denying five points. Yeah. It is indeed. Oh yeah, because he's a guardian, yeah. 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 Yep, yeah, definitely. Yeah, sack it. One, two, oh, balls. Okay. Over to you then, mate. First uh, stage of your push phase. Uh, Rodri will move one and attempt to shield bash. No, you won't. Might just black. What's his name actually? Yeah. Um, he's gonna go. No, he's not. Fuck it. Can't decide what I'm gonna do first. <laughs> There's too many um, thingies all at once. Oh, one of the play, but I won't say it. <laughs> what I was going to do is shield bash that two squares away. Yeah, there's no point because you can just move back. Um, yeah, so but it's another activation. Mm. I think I'm going to go with uh, Titus. Okay. And he is going to. I'm oh, sorry. It's really clutch. <laughs> he's going to. Um, That's probably the move, isn't it? That is the move. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're totally right. He's going to ultimate. Uh, he's then going to do a. Two models in one hex. He's going to piercing strike those guys. Okay. 
five dice. Yeah, dodge you. Uh, two? Two. Yeah, hit, you hit. Hit the first one. I'm going to do my with the separate MNI, yeah. So then six dice for the damage. Yeah, armor. 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 I'm in the five. Gets it, so one, one dies. Yeah, so you get two VPs for that. Yeah. It doesn't matter. What I want to do is do him later, because later on he could explode and kill everything. But yeah. actually, I can move one hex. And for the put, and then uh, do the second one. Go to the second one in that hex. Fuck. Yeah. Yeah. I should have um, I should have done the done the skills the other way around. Yeah. Tried to kill that guy first. Okay. Doesn't matter. Uh, so the second guy, five dice. Sorry. Yeah. It hits. Six dice. Yep. Nope. Nope. You then get to move, move one the hex. hex. I don't think I'd certainly want to move a hex. Yeah, oh, you can move, move a hex and then you can do his other skill. I'll move to there. His other skill will be to hit him and him. Uh, so that's six dice. I'll do this guy first. Okay. Good. Yeah. It hits. And it's only five on the hit though. It's probably to be a, a lucky roll. Nope. nope. And then hit the other guy. Four? It's uh, no five, five. Five, five needed. Yeah, so misses. Oh dear. Well, you can't do anything. Then I can't do anything again. No, you that's can't. it. What I should have done is done hit those two first, clear them out, and then move over here and try to kill that. Yeah. Mm. And then if those two survived, I'd have mm. had to hit the two of them. Well, it's been efficient because if you'd have killed another one, you'd have already capped out and you'd only got one VP. It's also things like if I'd killed that guy. I could have dodged into that, so yeah. I completely disengaged myself, and I could have gone for a hit on mm. more blade potentially. So you're in a pretty decent position. Yeah, you are. So uh, we'll go with Mornblade. Yeah, it's whether Titus can live or not. He's Mornblade. going to Phantasm Mornblade, uh, Phantasm Titan, Titus. Yeah. Uh, four dice needing two. Uh, yeah. Dodge Success. Uh, five damage. Oh, four. four. Oh, <laughs> my dice again. That's fine. Two but I hit, so two I, <laughs> I hit, so I could I can move all my models. Yeah. Uh, and what we will do is soul blade on this one chap here, which is accuracy five. Mm -hmm. I hit. You could do me a damage roll. I could have done that with my damage roll. I'm a four. Damage six. You should be able to do it. No. Yep. I'm a four, yeah. Four. So two damage over to kill a dude. Blip. That gains me a point. Um, and then they can make a free recruit action. Uh, and that's over to you. I needed one damage off that. Mm. I'm not going to win the the round by plinking one arm, one damage at a time. <laughs> <laughs> Thing is, Titus is in a fairly precarious position. Mm. All don't spot the play. <laughs> I'm not going to say it, am I? These guys are going to aim and then shoot at Wraith. Okay, sounds good. So they are accuracy 5, plus 1 for aim. Uh, I don't think she's still strengthened, is she? She ultimated and then fired, I think. So the accuracy six. What's his dodge? Not five. Uh, right. Wraith, yeah. uh, three. What's his armor? Two. Uh, three. Yeah, so one damage on him. Okay. And so it begins. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's them done.
Um, We will move up yep. and just uh, buy an attack on him, which is eight dice, because I'm concentrated. Maybe three now. Five. Yep. Uh, six actually, so take one box. Uh, yeah. Take one box? Yeah. Oh, sorry, you hit me, Yeah, and then one dice. And one dice. That's it. That's it, yeah. JT. Uh, these guys want to move there, want to move there, want to move there, and then I shall do a uh, surround pound on those more blade guys. So that's four dice plus two, two adjacent. Uh, two? Yep. Hit is that for the damage. Yep. So they are damage four versus plus two. This is armor four. Oh no! Uh, yep, that's ended up. Uh, I don't see your dice are bad and all. <laughs> it evens out after it over a game. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It'll leave it, what, you underrolling on killing them and follow up. <laughs> we'll, go with the, we'll go with the sneaky stabbers. They will recruit. Um, and. Um, uh, and he's just going to try and stab one of the followers. Oh no, they can't. They can't back to seven. They can't back to seven. Instant. Sorry, I'm looking at Sneaky Pete's card. That's fine. Um, so, who hasn't been on your side? Uh, Rodri, Lorsane, and the Household Guard. Okay, we're going to irritate uh, Rodri. So, yeah, death two. Success. Yep. Your minus one concentration. That's minus one to hit. Hit die. Minus yeah. one to hit. That's one of those. Yeah. Mm. My game? Mm. Yeah. yeah. Not ideal, but Rodri will move two and attempt to shield bash uh, Wraith. So six dice now. Probably dodge three. Mm. Against two, sorry. Wraith. 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 Yeah, three. Yeah. So Is that with minus one to hit? Yeah, yeah seven dice, we're down to six. So two hex push. Uh, I'll push him two back. No, I'll push him there. Okay. No, I'm going to push him there. And that's it, he's done. He's still got his ultimate. <laughs> Fuck you, I've got a banner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Blue yeah, Wraith, Blue Schlings, Sneaky Pete. You've got the Household Guard, Lorsane and the Elves? Uh, no, the Elves are no. gone. Lorsane. I've got the Household Guard. Okay. No, you haven't. You've done the Elves. Oh, you've got the Household Guard. Yeah. And Lorsane. And yeah, Lorsane. you're right, because you went first, didn't you? Yeah. Okay. So the Blue Schlings are going to go. They're going to use Tide on Sneaky Pete to move him to there. Mm-hmm. 
Um, and then they will move to there and there. His ultimate can be on anybody, not just champions. Who's? Still yeah, his beats. ultimate can be anything, yeah. Household Guard will move one and then try and kill this thing. Okay. So accuracy six. What's his dodge? Four. Yeah. Oh no! no. 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 Oh, that's a little, that's a that's unfortunate. <coughs> Just trying to get to make some points to be there. <laughs> okay. So I love a humble person, Dave. <laughs> Sneaky's going to use his ultimate. Yep. To crush the banner. Pounce to there to crush the banner. I, see, I kind of thought about moving Lorsane away, but there's no point moving her away because you can just do it on the uh, onto the thingies, the yeah. yeah. And then he gets to he gets a free attack, which is dodge of eight. Eight accuracy. Yeah. The Lorsane. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Just seven. Oh, seven. <laughs> I, did, I didn't see that one. Uh, damage of six. Yep. Got an armor two and armor one and six health. So two, two boxes. You've got three left. That's right, you can make a backstab now. So we'll go for a stab of five. Dodge of five. No, misses. Over to you. Uh, it would seem rude not to reciprocate. <laughs> Although, uh, so he's dodge of five. five. He is. Dodge of three. A possibly more appealing target, but unfortunately that thing is in the way. It's your mystic fire, Sneaky Pete. They just put a wound on him. Mystic arrow, but, sorry? They just put a wound on him. Oh no. I'm just trying to get, if I, it's, it's unlikely to get through, but I figure I might as well go. Because uh, if it does, then I'm rolling 10 dice worth of damage on a, on a low armor model. Okay, so sorry, that was five successes. Yeah, yeah so you've hit Sneaky Pete. Uh, yeah, so four damage. Two armor, is not it? Yeah. Put his spikes. No. No! <laughs> Don't die to the movie. Okay. Don't even start. Uh, we'll go with Wraith. He's going to jump to there and gain headbutt. plus one concentration. Yeah, I need to headbutt you and do three damage basically. Yeah. To potentially Win. round the round off. We and win the game. Yeah. So. Well, given the time, I won't be opposed to that. Do I go, <laughs> do I go for the lunging strike then? Because that's already six and then that's the four. Oh, let's go for the more damage. I've got six dice. I could go for six. Six dice needing a five, yeah. Or high rich. Mm. <laughs> or, si or seven dice needing and then four. Because I need four to kill you, don't I? Mm. Uh, no, you need three to kill me. Got one arm and oh, one sorry, arm yeah, you need four, yeah, you need four on the, on the Go on. I hit. That's through. Oh, oh easy. Four. So yeah. high damage. And then one. five damage needed. Four, needing a four. Yes! Yes. <laughs> Good game. Well played. <laughs> oh. So yeah, so uh, one, two, three, four. And then the... And then at the end of the round, I get five. One, two, three, four, five. Good awesome. game. Yeah, cool. So, thanks very much for watching. Uh, Dave, what are your thoughts? Uh, I kind of like the scenario, uh, and I particularly enjoy playing with my objectives, finally. Uh, which yeah, they are gorgeous. I hope you guys at home like them. It took a lot of hard work. Yeah, so. yeah I'm very pleased with them. Um, although I didn't account for the fact that you had resin bases. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I built them. Uh, flat bottom girls. Um, but no, I kind of like, I, I, I enjoyed yeah. the scenario. The scenario was good. Nice little bit of um, jank. It's different, isn't it? Yeah, and uh, I kind of... Uh, there's plenty of things I could have done, but it's only my third game as well, to be fair, so it's true. Probably, you know. 
it'll improve as it goes on. Yeah, definitely. Cool. So what do you think to Sneaky Pete and Mornblade? I thought they were all, all right. I don't I think they were the Titus as yeah, well. I mean, Titus, I, I've, um, I got a bit worried when I first saw that Titus was a Maelstrom because I didn't think I was going to enjoy the Maelstroms as much as, um, as, the, other classes. as the other classes. But actually playing him today, I thought he was really good. I liked his, uh, his um, uh, ultimate and yeah. the fact that he can get those double hits off. If he's not against Mornblade, it might have been more use. But that's a it's a nice way of getting a, a super strike hit and then dodging away. I love the fact that he's kind of you know he's designed to go against minions, and he gets stronger against minions as well with the plus one dodge and plus one armor. That's really nice. So it makes him quite hard to hit for them. Even when he takes his, he took that minus one boon. Um, to put stuff on more that never used. Completely <laughs> forgot about that. Um, but then, I oh know I, I can for it. Um, but yeah, it's kind of, uh, I, I really actually enjoyed him, so I'm quite happy with, uh, with cool. how he played. I could have played a bit better, but... Um, Did you think Rodri's bent? <laughs> Rodri's no, so good. The thing is, he's very static, so he's not exactly going to move, although to be fair, I didn't realise he moved two in the... Yeah. Uh, in the he gets the, fast. In the clash phase, otherwise I might have been able to move him around a bit more than I did. But yeah. He kind of just basically stood in the middle, dropped his banner and kept on having it stamped on, and that was about it really. That's a his ultimate, good. his ultimate isn't, I suppose his ultimate might be good, but... Um, it's very situational. Move all enemies within two hexes, so yeah. if he drops it, and then ultimately he could just like explode away a load of, a big group I suppose, but it's a bit kind of situational. Yeah. Um, but no, I kind of... It's I, not the I, best I ultimate him. out there, yeah, but it's certainly usable. That's the first time I've played, him as, uh, played with him as well. Yeah. I, I wouldn't be opposed to playing with him again. Um, Ranked so Rodri and uh, <laughs> and uh, more oh, they're the strong ones. I love those three as a team. Yeah, I it's just think good. I think you need I, I, the thing I really kind of struggled a little bit with is mobility on that. In that, mm. um, Sneaky Pete's great for being able to get around in the uh, strategy phase. So plot. in hindsight, or plot phase. Plot sorry, phase. yeah. Oh, they renamed it. I can't believe I'm still so I'm still going. See, like, some things like the phases <laughs> they change names, but splooshlings they stay the same. Yeah, I don't know what oh, it is. Uh, that's their prerogative. Um, but yeah, it's kind of, I think in hindsight, it might have been more worthwhile to go second at some point, because to let him yeah. get his movement out of the way, and then he's locked in, but as it is, he can, run over, banners, he can run over banners, um, so it's kind of, it's a big crush, but then obviously once he's... He's uh, beaten, he's yeah, locked although, although, for a turn. You know, his ultimate will get him one banner, once. potentially. If yeah. I had, to be fair, I aimed and shot with the, uh, the archers, if I'd really thought about it, I could have spread out and... Um, spread the field, path, yeah. yeah. But it's only things like I mean, I was hitting um, Wraith, but I probably should have done the Rodri move a bit earlier in the turn, because once he's pushed out of the way, then actually I can fan out a bit and yeah. actually put, put a bit more protection in. Yeah, Ro uh, Rodri's a really good activation after the splooshlings have already been. Yeah, because then you can, it, push you can push him out of the way of four. Well, that which was, is that's kind of what I said. Yeah, I was going to wander over here and shield bash, but actually there was no point wandering over there and shield bashing because. Um, I moved you two away, you're going to move three back anyway, so yeah, it's, it's kind true. of a bit redundant at that point. Definitely. Um, yeah. But yeah. It's good. Cool. It, it, was a, it was a game I certainly enjoyed. It was uh, it was very good. I think Change is one of my favourite uh, missions out of all of this. Thoughts of mine. There's Luke. He's still here. I can't keep out of it, even though I'm out of the show. I'm always... <laughs> he promised us that he'd be no, 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 just used to be it. Be to be fair, you, you were hoping I was going to say something about um, banners going when the, when the model dies and it didn't really... Well, I suppose it did make some difference. Yeah, what do you reckon yeah. to that? Um, it's kind of... It's, it is tricky because there were times where the banners got planted and because of the fact that I lacked mobility, I, yes, I just couldn't get to them. Yeah, I couldn't get to them, so I was thinking, actually, I'm going to have to focus on trying to kill stuff rather than trying to get the banners because um, my movement was so restricted in what I could do. And I think more and more. still one point look worse off though. Yeah. Because they get the point for planting, you'll get the point of four for taking them out. Yeah, that's why the Slayer comes in, isn't it? So effectively, I got the five for, um, for Wraith to push them back. Um, so yeah, I think. Uh, it's kind of you have to play more, one game, and um, it might have got rid of one banner. But I don't think that really would have made a huge amount of difference. In fact, I don't think it would because I killed him in the uh, ploy phase. Plot. Plot. I can't even get it right now. I'm getting. I'm stopped saying strategy. I'm saying plot instead. No, I ain't saying ploy. Ploy. <laughs> I'm. So I'm not saying plot. I'm going to stop talking. Ploy was quite a few editions ago. I don't think it's ever been ploy. I don't think it ever has. Um, I think it was shades by awkward. But yeah. So I think. I mean, it kind of it, it starts to inform my idea about how you'd build a, a group, 
And I definitely think you want one fairly mobile. Um, Every uh, Lannister needs stop a Wraith. Wraith. Everybody needs yeah. Wraith. Everyone needs more. Poor Shale. Needs more cowbell. Although, to be fair, Shale can't really he do can't himself. He can't move his mover too. He can jump the golem around, but he can't actually jump yeah. himself around. You need, that, you need that kind of portable crusher, don't you, really? Okay. And to be fair, I mean, Sneaky Pete can do it for one turn, and one turn's probably enough as it has proved in this game. Yeah, definitely whatever you can't get to in the uh, in the block phase, you can certainly jump to if it's within two. Yeah. And they're obviously next to another person. It's really good. Um, I still love Lorsane though. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. I still, She's still your favourite? Yeah, still my favourite. So uh, I think she'll be in pretty much every list I ever make. Uh, nice. Unless unless they change it drastically. You. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, me and Luke have discussed this before. Who would you take as a tawny for? Yeah, we're, we're going with the assumption. The assumption? <laughs> we're going through the assumption that you have four in your list to use, and you've got like a flex spot in rounds, and then you do like a blind draft type thing, and yeah. you go, I go. Yeah. Similar to a guild ball, you, reveal, you both reveal a captain, and then you alternate think, yeah, a, was, uh, a, a champion. But I was picking now, um, I think Lorsane has still got the strength to be able to pop somebody. The camera, not at him. Sorry. Why are you talking to me? Oh, Don't talk you, to you this loser. Uh, Lorsane, Luke's still not got, here. Lorsane has still got the ability, with all the chip damage that can be handed out with other things that on the board, her ability to just walk up and um, delete somebody once they've got three damage on them yep. is incredibly strong. Um, and plus she can get five uh, steps on it um, is great. So that's kind of a one turn thing, fair enough, but it could be a game breaker. Yep. Um, you can totally ruin someone's next yeah. plot phase by knocking them out. I might, I might, I guess I haven't really played with all of them yet, um, but I'm probably inclined to say Wraith for his general kind of mobility. And he can still put some damage out um, if he you can. need be, he's a kind of secondary damage dealer. Then, you see, I, I quite like Blackjaw and uh, Titus, but I wouldn't put them both in, so it'd be one or the other. And at the minute, I'm kind of. I'm on the fence. One of them, I think I would put one of them in. I know I've, I've now actually picked a. One of each class so far, <laughs> <laughs> and the fourth one would probably be Mornblade at the minute. It's not like I mean, I've only really played against him, and I've only really kind of read about him, so I don't really know. But uh, the ranged banner planting is strong. Yeah. Um, his uh, minions' ability to lock players down is really strong as well. You can it's very good control. Yep. Um, and he, he hands out a decent amount of damage as well. He does think. indeed. So I think that probably it would probably be a guardian, a slayer a Shaper and a Maelstrom and it would be those three plus either Blackjaw or Titus and because I like the model so much it's probably Titus nice. uh, for now but then I'd probably have to play with them both to see what I really liked or what oh, yeah. I like that kind of the quick in that um, Blackjaw brings at the minute with the speed buff and things like that so it's nice one of them but yeah I mean, I mean Rodri's good Rodri's I just so think good. he's just a bit I've, that, I've always it. played quite a kind of um, in, in almost every game I've, I've played board game, war game, um, tabletop game. Uh, I quite like a kind of a, quite an aggressive, rapid um, approach. So I, I like that. So the know, large range and fast movement. If you see Dave at Vengeance, talk to him about his <laughs> black heart turn one. If you like rapid things <laughs> that do everything. I have quite an aggressive, if you want the same quite aggressive to turn one. season one. Some of these people might not even know what Guild, Guild Ball is, although no, I imagine a lot of people uh, will, but yeah, I, yeah. I have kind of crafted that over two years um, through various rules changes as well. Um, but yeah, I do, uh, that, that's, I like to be in uh, as fast as I can, so <laughs> I think Rodri feels <laughs> a little bit too withdrawn. Um, although, you know, the March turn one, I could have gotten a bit further if I realised he can move two, he can get over the objective, so maybe I need to try him again. And actually use him slightly differently or slightly better. Yep. Uh, and see how it goes with that. Cool. Sounds good. Actually, think about it. Yeah, because he can move two. So in theory, he can move two in the he can in move, the yeah. uh, the plot phase, and then he can move three in the yeah. clash phase but potentially. Not, he can't do anything he else. He doesn't do much when he gets there. Yeah, but he can move five, so he can fly across the board. But you can move him up by using the whirlpools to tie him up. Yeah, if you want, if you link those two together, or which you can use your your, your, build, your two builds, or you can use well, Shale to give him plus one move. Yeah, yeah. It depends on who you put his board armor, though. Exactly. Plus one armor for plus just one completely. Dodge. But I think at the minute I'll kind of reserve judgment because obviously we've got nine out of fifteen. Fifteen at launch. So we've got six more to come. So see what they do as well. That's it. That's it. I'm sure it won't be long. Before at the minute, we get, I quite like uh, that. Actually, pretty much all of them. No, it's Charles, I believe. Luke's still here. Grim Charles is probably one of the next ones that we'll get. <laughs> well, I like the fact that at the minute they all feel different. They all do something different. Yeah. Um, 
I know there's been some sort of comments about you know potential blurring of the classes and stuff, and I think that will inevitably happen. With I think Rodri sits on the line. With the number of champions you've got, you're going to have a level of crossover. But actually, they all feel, you know, they all have their own flavour. They to all them. have a place, yeah. don't they? Really? Yeah, and they've all got something unique about them that makes them interesting. Cool. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of I'm not I've not written any of them off. Um, I don't at the minute. I'd be aesthetics. The ones I don't like. I don't really like the kind of Nurgle look of. Brimchana, so she yeah, wouldn't make that four. She might be, she might have amazing rules and be a, a completely ridiculous decision not to include her. But um, uh, I hope I that like doesn't them. happen. I hope that they keep all the the champions kind of like a it's, a flexi draft. It's very like, much you'd, like you'd be happy to pick, take all of them. It's very much like uh, again going back to Guild I'm a union player that doesn't use Amos and Green all because know. I don't. We like all know you're a union player who only plays <laughs> Blackheart. <laughs> yeah, he only ever takes six players to a tournament. Yeah. I'll take 10, but I only use right. six. It's cool, we're getting derailed here. So, yeah, so guys, thanks very much again uh, for watching. Thank you. Uh, we really appreciate it. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe and drop some comments. Uh, we're really good at replying to comments. And keep up with these suggestions on Facebook and YouTube. And we'll play any teams that you fancy, any missions that you like, and we'll just carry on going. So, thanks very much for watching. Yep, yeah, thanks. Bye bye. And uh, we'll catch you next time.